So, I thought I'd do a little bit of a different video today. You know, just be basically because I've been, you know, going on YouTube, looking at uh, paranormal experiences or just people encountering weird things. So, I thought that's a good video idea. I'm going to do that and tell you about my personal experiences or things that happened to my family. Sorry, I'm nervous. Uh, basically, okay, so the one thing that happened to me, so there was this house I used to live in and I'm pretty sure it's haunted because there was one incident that I experienced and then my mom told me about another incident. So first I'm going to tell you about mine. So me and my brother was playing and right, the trash can just knocked over by itself. I thought it was all in my head. You know, I thought I dreamed it. I was like, yeah. Because years later, no one mentioned it. So I was like, yeah, I probably dreamed the thing. And then we were talking about paranormal experiences. And my brother brung up that a trash can knocked over. So I was like, if I, if I remembered that and he remembered that, that means it must have happened. But it makes no sense because the trash can was full. So, like, you know, because my friends were like, yeah, the wind probably knocked it over. But if me and my brother, who are five years old, struggled to knock over the trash can, I highly doubt air or the air condition is going to knock it down. So, I thought that was pretty weird. And then another experience, uh, which wasn't me, but this happened to my mom, so... My grandma, me, and my siblings were in the car. My mom forgot something, so she went back in the house, and she came back, and she told us this thing. She said, um, she said she heard a little kid that sounded like me say, Mommy. Like, keep in mind, I was, she said it sounded exactly like me, but I was in the car at the time so it couldn't have been me and she said it sounded exactly like me and it said mommy so it kind of it's kind of weird because my mom said a little kid said mommy plus a trash can knocked over I sh maybe there was a little kid ghost spirit whatever you want to call it in the house i don't know but i thought that was a little weird so Another one, this happened to my cousin. And this was not in our old house. This was actually at my grandma's house, which she still lives in, you know. So, basically, my uncle said they were moving stuff from the attic and stuff. You know, weird stuff. And then my, co my cousin, who I don't remember how old he was at the time, but he was he was young. But, yeah, he said... He's seen a can, or it was either my young co younger cousin or my uncle. One of them said this. I don't know which one, but either either way, one of them said that um, a can was about to come down. Basically, like the can was knocked over and it was rolling and it was about to go down the stairs, and then they just seen a white hand kind of grab it and pull it to the side quickly, and they went up there to check and. They seen the can, but they didn't really see anything else. And a, a white hand, like a pale hand. Maybe a ghost hand. I don't know. I didn't experience it. I wasn't there when it happened, so I don't know. But that was a weird. And um, is there anything else? I think that's about it. If Yeah, that's all I really remember from the top of my head. All I know is when I go to my grandma's room or house, like, there's this antique room, right? My grandma has an antique room, and um, there's this one painting on the wall that just freaks me out. It's a painting of Jesus Christ, basically, on his hands and knees, looking up at the sky, praying. I don't know why. It, it just creeps me out. So when I go the, in that room, I always... Because I when I spend the night, I sleep in the antique room. Or I used to. 
So I always told my grandma to uh, take it off the wall or turn it around so I don't see it. I don't know why, because it looks harmless, but it's just that picture creeps me out. But basically, like, you know, when I go over there, I don't really, um, I don't really, I don't really sleep in there anymore. Like, I still, I go in there, but I don't sleep in there anymore when I spend the night. Now I just, uh, I sleep on the couch. So, yeah. Those are my experiences. You know what? I got an idea. So, if you guys have any paranormal experiences you want to tell me, or it doesn't really have to be paranormal. It could just be, like, weird experiences. Like, you know, it could be paranormal, alien, whatever. It doesn't matter. You can... DM me on Discord or Snapchat. I will leave my Discord and Snapchat in the description below. And you can send me your stories. If you want, I can make a video on them. Or if you just want to send me it just to get my thoughts on it, that's cool too. But it's up to y'all. But yeah, that's basically all the stories I remember. If I, uh, if I remember any more weird stories, then I will make a part two to this or another video. But... Yeah, as of right now, that's all the stories I remember. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, bye-bye, guys.